and welcome to the Slingshot channel. You know, I love it when sponsors return to me because it keeps my channel afloat. And it's because of you guys actually downloading the stuff that I recommend. And so with great pleasure I can announce that War Robots gave me another commission. And this time it came with a challenge. And I love it when that happens. But first let's talk about the game a little bit. Uh, War Robots is a tactical game. It's six players versus six players, which I like. It's not man versus machine. Uh, it has great 3D graphics. I love that it's not as flat as some of the other games out there, mine included. <laughs> uh, they have 70 million players. Can you imagine 70 million people? It's, it's just... Uh, it's, it's, it goes beyond imagination. Really. You have a great choice of weapons and robots, which I really like. It keeps the game interesting, plus they're constantly updating it. So if you have downloaded it a while ago, you might want to update it, because it's now even more fun. Uh, and also, if you download it from the link that I provide below, then you can benefit from all the bonuses that you get. You get 100 gold coins, you get 400,000 silver coins, you even get the GI Patton robot with a special uh, with a special skin that otherwise you would not get. And also you get four of the great Punisher machine guns. Those are really helpful in the game. And they look cool, don't they? All right, and of course, people, if you download it, if you haven't done this already, if you download it, that would actually help me because I sure would love to do another piece for them because it's interesting, it gives me good challenges, and also I like the money that comes in. <laughs> I admit it. All right, let's now come to the challenge. Okay, the challenge. Weaponize a vacuum cleaner robot. A vacuum cleaner robot. One of these tiny little... <laughs> Okay, by attaching a pistol to it. A pistol to a vacuum cleaner robot? Okay, but they say it can be an airsoft, so it doesn't have to be a firearm, but a realistic looking airsoft gun. The robot must be able to shoot repeatedly. Okay, so uh, just one shot, muzzle loader style isn't really an option. And the robot must still be able to clean after being weaponized. All right, well that of course severely limits my choices because I can't really do anything to the robot that would stop it from its cleaning function. First, I was thinking that maybe I can change the electronics, although I'm not very good at that, and just you know steal some power from the cleaning part and then connect it to, to a weapon or to a trigger with a servo or something, but that isn't an option. So I must find something completely mechanical, which I love more anyway. So first I got myself a vacuum cleaner robot to see how these things work. And here it is, the Medion Cheapo vacuum cleaner robot. And, and you know what it really is, they say it's a vacuum cleaner, but I don't really think that that is true because what it really does is it has these rotating brushes and I think they simply kind of, uh, you know, they work like little brooms just pushing the dust inside of this slot here and then there is of course let me see here underneath this clap. Yeah, you have this this box here with the filters. So it's actually more like an automized broom and not so much a vacuum cleaner. But anyway. Okay, it doesn't oh you have to push here to close it. Okay. And of course you get a remote control with it, which is good because I need something that replaces a trigger. So let's give it a try and see how it cleans. Okay. First we put some sawdust on the table, like that, okay, and then we switch on the robot and then we press clean, okay. Good job, don't you think? Okay, now I can stop this at any time and now I can take over control manually, like rotating it, going forward, stopping it, going backwards, okay. And if I move it backwards, it will only move a little bit. So here is my basic idea. I simply want to attach a handgun to the top of it, slightly pointing upwards to not shoot, pe shoot people in the foot. <laughs> and 
And I want to attach a mechanism that actually will pull the trigger when you go backwards a few times. So not just once, so that it can still do its proper cleaning where it sometimes has to go backwards a little bit. But only if you do this repeatedly, then it shoots. So that with a remote control, by pressing repeatedly on backwards, I can trigger the gun. So that it, it fulfills the criteria of cleaning and killing at the same time. Now in terms of the gun, of course, I have this nice Glock 17 on my license. Okay. Here's my Glock 17. Okay. Yeah. Cool little gun. But of course, I think the recoil from a 9mm would topple the whole robot over. So maybe I would have to get like a 22 adapter kit or something for it. And not this uh, 9mm caliber size. But anyway, um, I bought an airsoft model that, that really looks very much like it and has the same dimensions. And here it is. As you see, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Different color. And it also this one has an energy of under 0.5 joule. Therefore, it is a toy gun, really. It's like a pea shooter. And this means that I can do all kinds of things with it without having a gunsmith license, which otherwise would be a problem in Germany. But with toys, I can do that. So, single shot and full auto. <laughs> Pretty cool. So as you see it has a large wheel with uh, some uh, padding on it to give it extra friction and of course the Glock airsoft gun is clamped in and it's actually mounted to the lid of the robot which can still be opened just like normal. So it's an intact robot. Let's lock this again. And of course what I had to do is I had to extend the trigger downwards because otherwise this would not be strong enough to pull the trigger. And then you see that the trigger is attached with uh, some levers to the rear wheel here. And the rear wheel works in a way that if, if it turns forward, you see nothing happens, it runs freely. But if it turns backwards, then it will catch the lever and you see that the trigger is pulled and at some point the shot will fall. Poof, like that. So if I move this backwards, at some point, ouch, <laughs> the shot will fall. And if I move it forwards, then the trigger goes back into the original position. Bang. And of course, if I switch over to full auto, then look what happens. <laughs> First of all, I set this in motion and then I take over manual control. This means I can drive it backwards. Pack! Shot fell. Go forward again. Stop. Go backwards. <laughs> it works fine. Hands up!
<laughs> How did that feel? <laughs> Okay, let's now see if it still does its original cleaning job. And we just put a lot of sawdust on the table. Okay, let me get some more. Plenty of that stuff. Okay, sawdust, sawdust. Okay, can you lift your a little bit? Okay, oh, that's not sawdust. <laughs> All right, now let's go. As you see, fair enough, it cleans, but does it still kill? Ping! Do the magic switch. A little more. <laughs> I think I mastered the challenge, wouldn't you agree? I love that thing, purely mechanical and functional. Would this have any real life applications? Well, maybe like in a Walter White assault. <laughs> you remember the final you know, where he was mowing everyone down with a machine gun. Uh, but other than that, I don't think it had any viable application uh, other than entertaining people on YouTube. <laughs> but I think it is cool that I managed to do this without breaking the robot and without any electronics inside, just pure mechanics. I'm a, mecha I'm, I'm a mechanics fan and not so much into electronics. Hey you, hands up. Well, I'll shoot you anyway. useless but it's so much fun shooting at robots and you can do that too just download war robots who sponsored this uh, video and uh, just sponsor my sponsor that would be great thanks <laughs> he thinks so too in any case i hope you like this because <laughs> that's it for today thanks and Bye-bye. <laughs>